Remember when terrorist attacks used to terrorize people? Planes crashing into buildings, bombs exploding in subway stations, jihadis gunning people down at concerts? Now it's becoming increasingly difficult to even call terrorist attacks terrorist attacks because they're not terrorizing anyone. Instead, they display the utter incompetence of terrorists, and this tends to have a calming effect on the world. We might need to start calling terrorist attacks soothing attacks or tranquilizing attacks. Let me show you what I mean. Yesterday, there was a terrorist attack at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. You probably didn't even hear about it because the terrorist was so irretrievably stupid he didn't manage to terrorize anyone. CNN reports. The deceased suspect in Thursday's shooting at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi in Texas was a 20-year-old male named Adam al Sahli of Corpus Christi, according to two law enforcement sources familiar with the ongoing investigation. al Sahli drove to an entrance at the Naval Station and shot a security forces member in the chest, hitting the guard in her bulletproof vest and inflicting non-life-threatening injuries, according to one of the sources. al Sahli then accelerated towards the gate entrance and crashed into a barrier. After exiting the vehicle, he began shooting and was shot and killed by naval security forces. Following the suspect's death, law enforcement bomb technicians cleared his body and vehicle, but found no explosive devices, one of the sources said. A preliminary law enforcement investigation into the shooter has identified him as a U.S. resident who was originally born in Syria and likely a supporter of Salafi jihadist ideology, according to one of the sources. I read a couple of articles on this attack. There's a switch that raises an emergency barricade at the entrance. Al-Sahli shot the guard, but he hit her in her bulletproof vest, and she was able to crawl over to the switch and raise the emergency barricade, which Al-Sahli then crashed into like a complete idiot. Ironically, Muhammad said that women are, by nature, stupid and immoral. Yet this jihadi was thwarted by a female guard. What does that say about jihadis? On Thursday evening, the FBI said it is not ruling out any possible motives in the shooting. In a statement posted to Twitter, the Houston office of the FBI said, we are not ruling out any possible motives and continue to investigate all leads. When we are able to release additional information, we will do so. Officials have identified various social media accounts which initial reports indicate are likely associated with the shooter, the source said. Online postings by these accounts expressed support for ISIS and al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, the source said. For now, federal investigators have not observed any claims of responsibility for the attack on online platforms used by terrorist groups, one of the sources said. No claims of responsibility. Who would ever want to claim responsibility for a terrorist attack that terrorized absolutely no one? Islam is crumbling, ladies and gentlemen. It's crumbling from within. The young generation in Muslim countries despises Islam. And it's being blasted from without. The world is fed up with jihad, and people are using the internet to obliterate centuries of deception by Muslim apologists. Terrorist organizations are desperate to make some sort of valiant last stand for their religion, but each new attack is more pathetic than the one that came before it. Islam isn't going out with a crash. It's going out with a whimper. Cry, jihadis. Let us hear you moan and wail for your dying religion. We'll see you at the funeral.